Hello, and welcome to The Mummy Run. Now, The Mummy, as a character, did not actually receive really much of a change in the new update, but what Mummy did receive, I guess for some characters doesn't seem like much, but for The Mummy, it's a lot. Now, what The Mummy got, because I'm trying to beat around the bush, is new guns, new weapons for the arsenal of The Mummy. Uh, three, in fact, from what I understand. I'm apologizing in advance if I've missed one, but to my knowledge, the mummy received the laser gun, the little pew-pew laser shooting zip-zap uh, rifle. He also received a homing missile launcher, which is one of my favorite new toys to play with. And at legendary, we'll get to see this later on, the rail gun which is kind of stupid. The Railgun, I've tried this out once. I've done one mummy run already on stream, but I wanted to get one for stream, uh, for YouTube, I should say, that wasn't a stream run. Uh, plus, I just find mummy kind of fun to mess with, and mummy always seems to have that kind of, uh, that fun play style for YouTube where I get to talk to you guys. And now, coming up here, what do we have? We have, oh my God, is that? It's large. It's meaty. And it comes with a hook. It's this video's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Bet you didn't see that one coming. That's right, Raid, the mobile gaming phenomenon with over 600 champions, PvP, PvE, dungeons, awesome bosses, and even more awesome champions for you to collect and battle with. And you already know Raid is worth your time because it has my personal favorite character, Madam Ceres. She's a witch, a cool looking one at that. Just look, look at that hat. She has an, a glorious oversized hat. But in case you're still not convinced, how about one of the best design bosses I've seen so far? The Guardian of the Void, Malik Havar. Oh yeah, baby, you know I just nailed pronouncing his name. He's a big fan of poison attacks and can even force his poison applications to deal all of their damage in one go. You can't resist or block his poison either, so you'll need shielding and healing buffs to cope. If you can cleanse his poison, however, you'll have robbed him of his main source of power and can take him down. Raid, as usual, has a lot going on this month. A fresh rotation of the insane Hydra boss and tons of events and tournaments daily. There's even some Valentine's Day events still going where you can get your hands on a brand new legendary champion, Karato Fox Hunter. Mmm, Katana. If you haven't gotten your start in Raid yet, now is the time. Do it for Madam Ceres. Click on the link in the description below or scan my QR code right here. Bam! so you can get all the bonuses you need to get started, including a free epic champion, Aina. She seems rather pokey. 200,000 silver, you're going to need it. One energy refill, one experience boost, and one whole ancient shard, so you can get your summon on right away. You can find these incredible goodies in your inbox right here. But don't be too slow now. This offer is only available for the next 30 days. So for the love of the Madam Hurry, a big thank you again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the run. People always ask me, yo, do your hands get super sore playing the mummy, having to mash the attack button to fire off lots of shots? Uh, short answer, no. Long answer, if it's long enough. Um... Normally, one run of the mummy doesn't do my hand or my wrist in, but I know a lot of other people out there, it does. Uh, I've made the suggestions, as many have before, to enable um, held button attacks for Skull, uh, mostly for the mummy, but I feel as though it's even more important now with Skulls like the Predator having abilities that require multi-tapping, which now things like the Minotaur and even Yaksha, as we saw if you watched my Yaksha video, have very similar play styles. Now, oh dear. This is not what I'm after. Now, with this particular play style for Mummy being a gun run, we're doing a basic gun run. It means we want to focus on physical damage. We have the Ring of Wind, we have the Ancient Incense Burner. No good quintessences in here, unfortunately. We picked up the ointment. So I'm looking for raw physical damage. Wow. All right, I'll take the Gold Incense. Can I... I really should just sell stuff off to try and afford this, shouldn't I? Um, it would just be worth my while to get... Did I... I don't think I needed to sell both of those things, did I? Looking at how much money I've got left. It doesn't matter. I wasn't really keen on keeping them long-term anyway. I don't want the incense burner to create the problem where quintessences kind of take the main... The, the main spotlight of the run, which normally happens whenever I have the ancient 
incense burn. It just promotes uh, quintessence shenanigans. And I like quintessences. I like the quintessence shenanigans. I've got some very specific quintessence runs I want to get done at some point in the future. Good. Get knocked down. But right now, I'm looking to make Mummy the main boy die for me. Now, before I move on, I'm going to point out, look at this, you can shoot up. I do this all the time on stream and for every video I do. Did you guys know Mummy can shoot straight up if you hold up and shoot? Bet you didn't. Yes, it's the Alchemist, which I'm going to destroy immediately for these bone fragments and then move on. I'm not going to worry about the trainee's necklace or the unstable quintessence. I've had people actually ask me, hey Beals, can you, can you play with the unstable quintessence at some point? And it's not a bad quintessence for short-term use, but I'm certainly not too keen on keeping it long-term, but sometime in the future I will. I still want to get a Yeti run going. Um, I've, I've got a lot of stuff quintessence-wise I've got to do, but of course the update has come out and I have to do some of these, these new skull changes and get these runs out of the way first before I can show you guys the, uh, the crazy, the crazy world of quintessence abuse, because some quintessence is out there. I'm looking at things like Medusa. We've seen Nias become, uh, more, more popular on the, uh, on the channel recently, because Nias is actually kind of crazy good. There we go. Uh, that, yes, I do want to get some quintessence stuff going. Now, another base feature of the mummy, for anyone who's not too familiar with mummy, uh, mummy is immune to traps. That includes spikes, it includes the little fireball spitting flowers and and fireball things. Oh, the boots are nice. In the second act, it includes anything that isn't directly an enemy's damage. So everything, and it's amazing. It's an amazing thing to have. Now, unfortunately, the Ring of Wind is going to be sold here because the Ring of Wind increases attack speed. And Mummy's attacks are only as fast as you press the button. So you can go slow. And if you start mashing and really jam on the button, you can get some really fast attack speed going. Now, that means that a 15% extra attack speed increase does nothing for us. I'm going to sell it, grab the sword. Dual purpose, it's more physical damage. And we now have a second Carlean item, which is beautiful, fantastic, wonderful. You love to see it. More damage is always good. I'm hoping that I can get some more... Yeah, let's get a swap going real quick. Some more skulls to get to, at the very least, unique. Hopefully we can get those last nine that I need. Because, how dare you, sir? How, how dare you? The rudeness. The sheer rudeness of you. No, don't do that. Stop. Stop. I will shoot my head at thee. I will I will spitteth my head at thee. Let's get a swap going real quick. Um, people were talking about Little Skull's uh, swap buff and whether or not it's like enough or justified because something that I'd really love to get for Little Skull in the future, right? As just a maybe a quality of life thing is very similar. They've done this recently where oh, we've got piercing wind now. Oh yeah, that piercing wind damage. Being able to spam these bullets really fast. I, I didn't even realize that Hidden Dagger had it. I keep forgetting. Hidden Dagger isn't something I think about very much, but it's very, very good. Now, in regards to his swap, they made it do more damage, but something I'd love for him to be able to do is actually steer the spin so that when you swap in, be able to like hold it in place or hold back to go backwards. A bit like with the uh, leaping abilities that they've done for characters like Minotaur, Berserker, and now Warrior with, I think it's Power Strike, Power Swipe, something like that. You can actually like pull. Oh yeah, that's good damage. Oh, that's good damage. You can actually pull the, uh, the ability left and right. And if I swap the little skull, and if I don't want to actually move forward so much, it'd be good to control that. I did not get the other ones that I needed to get to uh, unique. Well, that's disappointing. I'm going to have to go and fight Yggdrasil with just a plain old mummy. Man, I wanted to be able to... Well, I know I wasn't able to get to, to unique before Yggdrasil, but I'm going to start Act 2 with, with plain rare mummy as well. Now, this is where being able to aim straight up comes in handy. The only flaw with that is that we're missing out on all that juicy piercing wind damage. So I actually want to get up here and shoot him. Stop that, you. And shoot him with all of the damage of our pistol. Look at that. It's actually not bad damage. He's getting melted. The pistol, uh, funny enough, despite just being his basic attack, stays pretty powerful and pretty consistent throughout every mummy run that I've ever done, at least. Um, just going to shoot up for no real reason, just to kind of show off and, and do it. 
But uh, Mummy scales very well with on-hit items, things like Gunpowder Sword, which everyone does, but still, you get you get the point. Uh, thief Armor does very well with Thief Armor. Even Explosive Arrow, despite the fact that Explosive Arrow received a big nerf on the, the full release way back when, and you can't do the super overpowered exploding mummy run anymore. If you never saw my my explosive arrow mummy run from way back when, I recommend it. It's just a good laugh, even if it is outdated by this point, because it's based on before the final release. It was still a good window into how busted his his gun attack could be. <laughs> and uh, I believe that is like maybe 80 to 90% of the reason why he was nerfed, uh, why the explosive arrow was nerfed actually, because of mummy and Mummy's ability to spam projectiles insanely fast. Uh, throw this over there. We did pick up a Succubus. One of my other favorite quintessences, actually, that I want to uh, play around with more in some dedicated videos at some point, because Succubus has the very unique quirk of making it so that any enemy that she strikes... I'll just go over it real quick here. Any enemy that she hits with her attack will be charmed for three seconds and cannot damage the player. Yo, Kabooma? Do I do a Kabooma again? Another? No, I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I, I've, I've done so much Kaboomering um, in, in recent times. I feel as though I owe it to not only myself, but you guys to, to actively not take Kabooma for, for once in a run. <laughs> um, not that it's a huge problem. I just realized that people might be getting to the point where it's like, please, Beals, we've seen so much of this, of this, Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. We've seen so much of this uh, this character already. Specifically with this ability too. Can we can we get a small break? Anything, please, I beg of thee. Ah oh, man, I'm not gonna break this uh this timer in in good time, funny enough. Um these little little ladies have done a very good job of messing with me, although 325 for a unique. Hey look at that, we get Cowley Bowmaster's bow. That's actually amazing for us. It's, uh, it's uh, gold efficient. We would have made money even if it wasn't this. But it is the Cowardly Bowmaster's bow. And we got the Prayer of Grace at the end of the room. We're actually working on a bit of a chase setup here with the Hidden Dagger and the Bowmaster's bow. If I can get the Basic Bow, the Hunter's Bow, and I think the Hunter's Boots are the last three chase items I would need. We could get a good chase run going. Now, projectile damage is boosted by 50%. There are no enemies around me. In addition to that chase, which has a very similar effect, it amplifies the damage of your attacks based on the distance from the targeted enemy, which just means the exact same thing, more or less. The further away you are, the better the effect. The bow is very similar to... There are items out there, like the, um, the bone hourglass comes to mind, where it's an item... Uh, bone hourglass and what's the other one I'm trying to think of? The, the ancient incense burner, right? where they are items that have inscriptions and effects that kind of mimic each other. So the Bowmaster's Bow here wants you to be far away from opponents, as is the inscription Chase wanting you to be far away from opponents. Oh, I'll just show you right now. This is what I meant when I said trap immunity to all of Act 2 as well. Even those little fireballs that are coming out of the lion's heads don't hurt us. And uh, to go back to my first point, I was saying the Ancient Incense Burner reduces the cooldown, or should I say it speeds up the cooldown of um, inscriptions, as well as has ruins on it. There are a few items in the game that double up, they like double dip on their own effects, and it's very, very good. Um, that's why the Broken Mana Engine is one that I like so much, because not only does it naturally boost cooldown speeds, but gives you mana tech, which is very, very potent and very powerful as an item. Now, having said all of this, I am still chasing uh, <laughs> the chase inscriptions as well as just some good items in general. I'm not going to take Mage's Necklace. I could take it and just keep Little Skull with me the entire time. However, for the purposes of getting more fragments, I'm going to swap out and take the Water Skull. I feel as though it's worth doing this just in case I come across a a room where I'm willing to swap this out. And we have Tornado, which is kind of a cool ability. We can use the Succubus right here. I'm going to swap and blast you away. Can I get the quick swap? There we go, before the fireball comes out. Lovely. Even on a physical run, Little Water Skull is still putting in good work. Making us all very proud. No, don't do that, dude. Don't do that now. Swap out. We are waiting for upgrades. The whole point of the physical mummy run is the weapons, and we don't have access to any of his other 
any of his other weapons. His artillery is limited at the moment because we do not have his other weapons. We will get them as soon as we reach Unique, and I believe what they've done is, uh, part of his patch notes, is increase the chance of getting his other weapons. When he's at Unique previously, you were like 90... 90-95% of the time going to get just the, the AK. Um, however, now you can get the, the AK-47, his rifle. You can also get his laser gun. You have a higher chance to receive the rocket launchers, which are very, very good. And I'm really happy that they let him get this more frequently at Unique because it's a very, very useful thing indeed. No, lady, die. There we go. And overall, it's just, it's just nicer to be able to get access to these things um, earlier as opposed to waiting for Legendary. Uh, second adventure of fight. I'm going to start off in watery boy mode. Throw out these liquids. Splish splash. Give them a bath. Dash out the way of that. I feel like if I stand kind of like inside of the archer girl, she can't really hit me with anything. Like that right there, her arrows kind of go past you. Oh man, I'm going to have to do quick swaps to make sure that these attacks don't go through, although his did, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't expect water to be doing lots and lots and lots of damage, considering that he's kind of handicapped right now, not having any magic items. I didn't think I was close enough for that to hurt me, but I guess I was wrong with my spacing. Anyway, moving up here... Ah, the recruit with the comrade. This is actually not too bad, because I can get rid of Water Skull. I benefit from sacrificing the higher price skull. I get to take little recruit who has a physical attack with him. Yeah, it's it's pretty decent. Is it like the best trade in the world? Not really. I'd rather someone better than Recruit, but better than Recruit means I would want to keep them and not get rid of them straight away. Now, um, we've upgraded to Unique. We have access to his weapon drops, and we picked up the Survival Knife, which is actually uh, one of the best things we could have got. This was originally the Claw, but is now the Knife, and when we upgrade to Legendary, we'll be able to use the Knife while moving. But for now... We have access to a very uh, short cooldown, fast, spammable bleed, which is very, very handy. And if I swap out and then swap back in, we're going to see the mummy's swap effect, which is to receive a weapon drop from the sky. Because the mummy, as some of you know, and, and I hope most of you by this point would know, but some of you probably don't, is a metal slug reference. The entire character is a great big metal slug reference. If you don't believe me, da 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 da, -da weapon crate falling down, grab it. This is the new ray gun. This is the new zip zap, blip blap, you're dead. It looks beautiful. It's very, very shiny, very, very glowy. However, the only thing it doesn't do that you may expect it to do is pierce enemies. It does not. But there is a trick that you can do, and I'll show you this trick uh, more easily on rooms of enemies when we come to them. But something that you can do is actually manipulate this laser gun. We also can shoot straight up with it, as you would expect. Uh, we can manipulate it to hit more than one target. Now, is it super, super effective to do that? Ooh, gunpowder sword? You shouldn't have. Oh, that's nasty. That's so nasty. That's a great find right now. I'm, I'm really happy with that. That's that's incredible. Uh, but it's not really super effective to do it, but you can hit more than one person with it, just in case you wanted to. Like, you, you thought to yourself, I really need to hit more than one guy right now. The range on this thing is very nice. It does not go full screen. But it does go a pretty healthy distance. Oh, that, that. Oh, there we go. There we go. The next new weapon, the homing missile launcher. Look at that. Look at that. It is indeed homing. They're like little bees. The way that it kind of wobbles in the air reminds me of like shooting out little honeybees. They're like brrr, little, little buzzy boys. I know that wasn't a buzzing sound. It was more like a, a, an AK sound, but I don't know why I made that noise. Anyway, the point is... It's a really fun weapon, and kind of busted, to be honest. Because um, there's so much you can do with it, just sitting anywhere on the screen and just going full ham on it. And we got the laser again. Here we go. So now I can come down here and blast you away, so see you later. We also got the harpy that's, that's actually showing up at a time that isn't too late to give us some more fragments. Thank you, harpy lady. A blessed run is a good run. This is very... This is very blessed. Ah, oh, the Reaper with Gylotine and Harvest. Um, a feast for us for sure. Uh, this is definitely not a Reaper run. Thank you, Reaper, for your noble sacrifice. Shoutouts to the Reaper run that we managed to get uh, finally after so much time. I I appreciate you, Reaper. I appreciate your sacrifice. Ah, this is actually a good chance to show you the laser's multi-hit. So if you fire the laser, you see that? You see that? 
if you fall down with it, shout outs to Dr. Doom's butter gun from, from Marvel 3 and, and Marvel 2. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't, you don't. But you can jump, fire the attack, and the laser will fall down. You see that? From the sky. And hit... There we go, target dummies. Hit more than one enemy. Because if you stand here, it just gets stuck on one dude. But if you do a little hop... You can hit more targets. Now, is that really good? Not really, but it's an option, right? You may not find great use for it, but I find that it's pretty nice. I'm going to ditch the Prayer of Grace because skill cooldown speed is not the aim of the game here. In fact, it's pretty far from it. I'm more focused on the weapons and the basic attack. So we will take the Master Fighter, another blessed item for us, and replace it... Uh, and take it and replace the, uh, the Prayer of Grace. What I'm looking to get rid of next is probably this Eleven Finger of Lightning and then eventually polish off the gold items, but for now they're helping out. I don't want any of these. I'm looking for that critical synergy or some more raw damage, which we found right here. Take this and get rid of that. More magic stuff. Ah, and we have the, the Broken Mana Engine. I feel as though speak and ye shall receive. I also want to mention now that the bead is here and we just had the Reaper, a hotfix very recently came out that addressed Reaper's swap in um, because in my previous video I was using the B to get around it. I'll just say right now, the hotfix fixed this for Reaper. is uh, Swap in is fully invincible again. Um, I'm very happy that they did this because Reaper's swap was probably the hardest part about playing him. I know everyone was going on and on and on about his basic attack being uh, physical, but for me it was the swap that was one of the biggest gates to uh, try and get past because it, it's so fundamental to his playstyle. So I'm really glad that they, they changed that and made it better for him. Look at this damage change, by the way. Whoa, there we go. There we go. Let's use these 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 hops to our advantage. Look at the laser putting in work. All I need is seven more, dude. Seven more, and we can actually get some... Uh, some legendary action moving into the third area. It's a shame that this doesn't go through walls like a real laser should. Because if it did, that guy would be... Oh! See, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm surprised. I'm really happy, actually. I'm really happy that I'm able to show you guys the benefits of the short hop doing some work. No, dude, it's not enough. Even with a legendary, it's not enough. Fine, we'll take the missiles then. We'll take the little homing missiles and move on. Um, I'd love it, by the way, just saying, just saying, I'd love it if we had a screen or a panel or something or rather that allowed us to actually look at the weapon itself and see what it does without having to use it, or just see, you know, like, names and a little descriptive text somewhere. Um, that'd be kind of cool. I know it's not, it's, that's far, far cry from the most important thing in the world to do, but eventually, one day, you know, a little screen that says, you currently have this weapon equipped, it does X, Y, Z. That'd be cool, yeah? Okay, it's going over her, it's trying to, it's trying to bend in the wrong direction. I can afford to stand there, because Succubus is making us immune to her nonsense. And look at that, she's done. <laughs> it's a really powerful weapon. We don't even have that many items that are that are that busted, but it's very, very cool. I'm just gonna fire off all of these. And now we go back to shooting lasers at her. The benefit of the laser is it's going to trigger the effect of our gunpowder sword much faster. And I'm kind of torn between wanting to be closer to benefit from things like piercing wind, but obviously, uh, our Coward's Bow is going to do more damage than the Piercing Wind ever would. And we're even benefiting from it right here. You can see the buff down in the bottom uh, where the buffs are. If you're too close, the bow isn't there. If you're far away enough, it is there, showing that you are you are in range to benefit from it. Man, that was actually a pretty fast sister fight for the mummy. Uh, Shoutouts to the Missile Launcher and the new Laser. The new Laser Ray Beam, you know, zap. It's doing a really, really good job for him. Um, uh, shoutouts to being two fragments short, which, uh, just bothers me, dude. Fighter's belt, is there anything I'd be willing to get? No, there's not, to be honest. Although, see, here's the funny thing. For each nearby enemy, yeah, yeah, the mummy, who has two out of chase, plus the cowardly bow. Makes no sense, I, I don't, the, the, no. It's, it's the polar opposite of what I want to get. What I do want to get is another skull room, so I can get my, my mummy set up for legendary as soon as possible. I am really impressed with this damage, though. Even the knife is uh, one-shotting these alchemists. Get alert, get alert. Ready, ready? Knife. And he's dead. Knife. Careful, Mr. Ogre. I have a laser. 
basic stuff. No, thank you. It'd be good for the uh, the ability that we have, the mummy bomb, plus the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can shoot straight up. Uh, even better than shooting straight up, we can do this little falling laser attack. When uh, Gunpowder Sword procs off it, it's actually a lot of damage. I'm, I'm realizing how, like... Damn, dude, I'm actually realizing how solid of a room clear this is. Gunpowder Sword just keeps giving, huh? Now, we're supposed to have a chance, there we go, to receive some weapons when we kill enemies as well. It becomes more and more noticeable at Legendary, I feel, but with rooms like this where there's just so many dudes, you should be able to find some more weapons. Uh, shoot lasers. Can I afford to get away with this before? No, just, 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 just deal with it, just deal with it. There we go. Now, was this even a skull room? I feel as though this wasn't even a skull room, was it? No, it's a money room, fine. So what we're gonna do is drop down here and talk to the old man. Get him to give us a skull, doesn't matter what he gives us. Yeah, there we go, we'll just take the genie. We'll get some life back right here, get a new weapon. The genie is destroyed and we don't have to worry about getting any more skull rooms, which means I can take this money room because we're gonna focus pretty, pretty hard on the mummy. I want the mummy to be the, you know, the star of the show, so to speak. Okay, that's going through your head. Come on, sir. Fine, bleed for me then. You're gonna be that way. Brr, brr, get shot, get shot. Now they did change the AK, I've forgotten to mention because I always forget about the AK. It's like my least cared about weapon. But they've changed it so it doesn't fire full auto anymore. It's like semi-auto. So for each one button tap, you shoot a, uh, a short burst, little three shot burst, which means you have to spam less with it. So you can just kind of like, just tap it quite, you know, quite sparingly. And it doesn't really matter because the faster you mash on it, it you're not going to go that much faster. It's just going to shoot at the same speed. Like between me jamming on it like it's my pistol versus this, it's 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 a lot easier. Um, which is why I think that they should have options for the mummy to either hold in his button to shoot or even just make it so that he can uh, fire off little burst shots more like with his rifle to make it a bit easier on the thumb, you know. A bit easier would be nice. No, so we've got a reroll NPC here, but once again, I don't care. We're worried about the basics and not the... Huh, the skills. No, no. Pot of Greed? Ah, oh, dude, Metal Box. We haven't fought the Adventurers in Act 3 yet, have we? We only just got here. So this would still be a 45, actually a 50% because of the Courage. Assuming you have no Courage, the Courage built on this on its own is still 5%. So you can look at this like a 50% upgrade. Um, but we, do we have, we have two courage. Okay, so this would be still another 5%, yeah. So this is a 50% investment, plus the pot of greed minimum would be a 15% on its own, 30% once mummy gets upgraded. I think this is still worth, uh, getting rid of our gold items here just for the extra damage. Um, I, I would rather get a lot more, <laughs> a lot more for this trade, but I'm okay with it for now. Uh, shoutouts to Recruit. We will get to some Recruit action eventually. Uh, spoilers, I'm not a big fan on Recruit right now. I think Recruit isn't necessarily the biggest loser of the update, but I think Recruit... Um, uh, I'm just not a big fan of Recruit's new play style, but we'll get to that when we get to the Recruit video. But if you were wondering when you're going to see Recruit, it'll be soon. Just be aware that it's going to be a little bit, you know, it's one of those runs where I'm kind of... Uh, I'm trying my best to feel it, but at the same time, I'm probably not going to be able to feel it very well. <laughs> or get a very a very powerful run with him. On the other hand, Mummy, we can get a very powerful run with. All we need is a little bit of luck with some items. We've already got gunpowder. If I can get Thieves Black Steel Dagger on this or Troll, um, it will be... It, we've already got gunpowder. Gunpowder is the most disgusting thing we could have found for this. Knife. Um, lasers. Go for it, dude. Ah, rocket launcher, finally. I told you you could find it at Unique. And it's very, very helpful for him getting a, a big damage boost. Ooh. And, and one of the other things, I can't believe I forgot to mention this up until this very moment. One of the biggest buffs to the mummy's basic attack build is that they've increased... I'm sorry, just let me... Just let me uh, they've increased the ammunition on many of his weapons, including the rocket launcher. No, lady. Why would you... Why would you let her live? Why would you let her live? Okay, homing missiles. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Annihilate them all. So the, the missile launcher has gone from 10 ammo to 20. I believe the flamethrower got a little bit more maybe. But basically the majority of his weapons have more ammo so they last longer. Which is fantastic. 
because one of the biggest issues were that you genuinely had a case to say that Magic Mummy might be better. Having said that, they did buff some of Magic Mummy's abilities and have just made Mummy overall a lot better and more consistent. Now, Legendary Mummy is upon us. We now have access to the the uh, the RPG, the grenade launcher. We have access to the shotgun, the flamethrower, and the rail gun. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Um, just to try and name them off, besides the basic pistol, you've got the, the AK-47, the laser, the new missile launcher, and the rockets at Unique. And then, like I just said, the shotgun, the grenade launcher, and the rail, and the flamethrower. So I think he's got eight weapons total. We've just picked up the shotgun, which still remains one of my favorites and one of the most powerful weapons that he can find, because if you if you time it quick enough and you dash cancel the first shot, you see that? You can get a double shot. So you can get really big burst potential off of this. Having said that, we just picked up the, uh, the laser rifle. Now, the rail being the only other new weapon that we haven't set... Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. That's the rail. I was going to say, it took me until Act 4 on my last Mummy run to even find the rail. It's very rare, but the game is, is trying to be nice. So, zip. You can see the rail. It's a giant lightning cannon. It is a rail gun, and that would be a flamethrower that I don't want to get. Knife this guy. No! <laughs> Why did he have to drop a weapon? Okay, so, uh, you saw a little bit of the rail. Hopefully we'll find some more rail coming up soon. Uh, because that's that's heartbreaking in the worst possible way. Thankfully, Mummy is still immune to to traps, so this room poses very little actual threat to us. Besides, just the big brogers doing what big brogers do, and that's get in my way. I should have taken that rocket launcher, but we've got flamethrower, and I, I really like playing with fire. Um, playing with fire is 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 my jam. It, it makes me happy. I wake up in the morning, I think to myself, "Damn, I can't wait to jump onto Mummy and get this flamethrower and start burning." Um, scientific anomalies and, and mutations and stuff in the middle of the, the Black Lab in Skull the Hero Slayer, one of the best games that I've played in a long time. <laughs> Can I please get another rail? I need the rail, dude. I was wanting to show off the new weapon. Yeah, knife him. Uh, like I said before, one of the new things that we have obtained with the power of the upgrade into Legendary is the ability to do drive-by knifings, as I call it. Um, that would be the, the ability to run past someone and knife them while still moving, which is an incredibly unique thing that Mummy has access to. There aren't many, if any, other characters in the game that can do a skill while still moving. So, for example, were there dummies down here somewhere? I don't think this room actually has dummies. So, for example, I can run past the ogre, knife, and keep moving. It's very similar to the alchemist's basic attack which is another rare thing that only the Alchemist has access to. The rail, thank you! In that he can uh, move and do his basic simultaneously. Very, very cool, very, very rare. Uh, blap. Hit him with that rail. Lovely. Blap. Blap. There we go. It's big, it's chunky, it's powerful. It only has 10 shots because anything it hits is probably ooh, going to die. Speaking of death, the orc over here is, is speaking to me, dude. Ooh, I could get the Ancient Incense to get even more uptime on it. But what would I ditch? There's not much here that I would ditch if I wanted... Nah, forget it, forget it. I'm looking for more raw damage. The Orc is nice, but I don't need the Orc for constant uptime. However, having said that, blap. 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 It's a thing of beauty, son. It's a thing of beauty. Now if I stand over here and I go... Blap. How much died? Ah, the big ogre died, of course. Blap. Dead. Let me knife you real quick. Look at this. Look at the power of the rail. The rail is so mighty. It's so beastly. It's just... It's... Uh, it's unfair. Spawn. Where are they? There they are. Blap. They lived! The power of the rail has forsaken me. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Fire the rockets. These two dudes die. But you can see the rail is pretty nice. Um, I... I... I don't want to say it's overrated, it's actually very, very strong, but... Oh, thank you. I get to show off a lot more of the rail than I thought I would. This is very, very nice. Uh, does it go through... I believe it does. Yes, it does go through walls, which is one of its chief um, benefits. You can do stuff like this. Very, very nice. Ooh. Ooh, another rail. Don't mind if I do. Allow me to just grab this and replenish my supply. Um, 
being very generous with the rail ammo. I guess I was just unlucky last time. I'm either getting really lucky with the rail now, or I was very unlucky last time. Ah! A chance. As long as I don't accidentally grab a different weapon, I can come into the Chimera fight, pop Orc, stay at max distance, get big damage from Chase and the Cowardly Bowmaster's benefit and uh, show you how much damage this can do. I still feel as though with the Gunpowder Sword being super up close with something like the Flamethrower with multiple hits uh, would benefit more. However, having said that, we're getting thousand hits right here. This is pretty, pretty gross damage, sir. Now, I've very rarely been in this predicament before where I'm there we go. Where I'm in the very back when he's doing the slam. I've not been back there in a long time, but you could see the damage of the rail. It is not something to be messed with. Contaminated core, I won't be in rooms long enough to benefit from it. And I'm not going to pull a warrior again. Shoutouts to the warrior video where I, I actually tried to stall out for the core. That was... Yeah, that was something. Uh, let's move on. I'm going to swap real quick so that I get the chance to have a new weapon spawn in. Does it bug out while I'm in here is the question. Is that the grenades? It is, the RPG, the little, little uh, grenade launcher. Let's go. This is a very strong weapon as well and has the lowest ammo supply. So you would think that the railgun being as dangerous as it is would have the least amount of ammo. No, in fact, this is the gun that has the least amount of ammo. And I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. You would think, yo, look at him. He's, oh, he's trying so hard. You would think that the, uh, the rail, I just messed up and grabbed the wrong thing. Flamethrower. Burn, son. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why the rail has 10 and the RPG has, has 5. But, you know, I'm not complaining. The rail is fun. I just wish that the, the little rocket boys, the little uh, grenades would have more ammo. I think they deserve it, you know? They've worked hard for it. They've earned this. Uh, nah, I'm gonna pop orc. I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn some of these statues down. Get some, dude. I really need that Thieves Black Steel Dagger, though. Where is my Thieves Black Steel Dagger? Oh. <laughs> I'm actually amazed that we're still doing so much damage with our uh, magic attacks. Like, we really shouldn't be, but we are. Let me get the missiles real quick, because the missiles are going to be pretty funny for here. Yep. And see, the beauty of this, with enemies dropping... Let me just shoot straight up for a quick second here. Look at this. It's hilarious. Uh, one of the beauties of enemies dropping weapons so much more frequently now uh, is we have our pick of the weapons in some of these rooms. It's like, oh, look, there's a rocket there. There's there's a there's a, a grenade launcher there, a shotgun there. Oh, I've got so many things I can do. Ah, oh, the ninja. Shout outs to one day I will get the new ninja run for you because the ninja has had some good changes. Ah, oh, there, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Speak and ye shall receive, my child. So, I don't want to ditch the chase items just yet. I don't feel as though I'm going to get full chase, but... Uh... You know what? We're in Act 4, and I'm only at 2 out of 5. I'm going to ditch the Hidden Dagger. I've changed my mind immediately. I'm not going to get full chase. I will take Explosive Arrow, though, because... We're just running out of out of fun, meme -y stuff that we can do, right? So as long as I'm at a large distance, I get 50% more damage from my attacks. That's that's good. That's that's fine. We also have one in chase left, so that we get a little bit more out of it. Which means I'm looking to ditch one of the 25%ers probably, because Demolition is still nice. We're not going to build up a lot of courage. So Empire and Courage versus Saw and Courage. Sorry, Boots. You are the unlucky loser. Let's destroy the Boots and move on. And pick up a weapon that I didn't really want to have. So let's leave and move on. And hopefully I get something way cooler. Oh. Or something way hotter even. I'm okay with this. Because now... The only thing I'm really missing is is the uh, the thief armor. To be honest. Um, no, don't do that. I'm going to burn this and get my life back. There we go. Um, said everyone ever. Burning it to get their life back. Hold up. Grab this. And pew pew, dude. Pew! Pew! Pew, dude! Pew, pew! What's this? The shotty? Look at all these weapons sitting around. Now, let... Uh. Whoa, dude. Look at this stock of weapons right here. Give me the lasers. Actually, you know what? Give me the... Give me the... Give me the... Uh, yeah, dude. Give me the rockets real quick. We haven't... We haven't messed with rockets enough. 
shoot like two rockets at this. Oh, this thing's beefy. Um, die for me, please. Activate orc. Mass rocket spam. Many rockets. It may not be rocket science, but it's still rockets. And they, they hurt, dude. Ah, oh, man. I am glad that we have more access to weapons, though. Like, the fact that... Oh, that's a rail. Oos. 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 God, that feels good. Oos. 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 God, it's so much damage. It's brilliant, dude. Oh. I, I do I do love that we have access to more weapons, though. It's very, very good. Nope. Wait, summon them. Summon them. <laughs> what a waste, dude. You summoned your little friends just so that I could obliterate them with the power of the giant rail. Ugh, get burned. Ugh, get burned. Ugh, get burned, and then I grab something I don't want. Give me the rockets instead. It, it feels really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing uh, more and more with these advancing mummy runs that having such consistent access to better and better weapons is very nice. Now, that looks like the grenades, I want to say. Yes. I always get confused between the grenades and the shotgun because they have very similar designs. Um, I believe the grenades is like a yellow background with a little green grenade looking icon on it, whereas the shotgun... See, that's the grenade launcher right there, and I didn't want this. I wanted to get something different. I'm going to swap again. Um, I am literally stalling out to try and get a better gun to start this fight on because I want to get something gross. Uh, fire is good. Whereas the shotgun is more of a green background with like a... Uh, it's like a splatter, like it's all uh, like a spread shot kind of pattern on it. Oh, we've also got the uh, the sorcery lady. Shout outs to uh, characters you thought weren't in the game anymore. What? That has got to be the most ironic death I've ever seen in Skull the Hero Slayer. She summons fire and then she just got her ass cooked, booty and all, cheeks and buns, through the incinerator. Toasty. That was... That was quite violent, actually, now that I th Damn! Da that's why the flamethrower is so good. The flamethrower would have been procking a lot of gunpowder sword right there. Um... Damn! <laughs> um... Yep, I don't really know what else to say about that. Uh, welcome back to the sorceress lady. Uh, she was gone for a while, and I, I bet she wished she still were, because that was kind of disgusting. Can you die, sir? Thank you. My goodness, wasting my time. With such trivial nonsense. Pew, 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 die. God, this weapon is so cool. Having an automatic homing missile. It's not stupid, disgusting, broken, but it has 30 shots to it, which is a lot, I want to say. this It feels like a lot. No, you can die before you summon. How about that? Can we get the same thing that happened to you, sir, is the question. Can you die before you summon? Yes, you can. Let's jump up here. We're going to activate this, and we're going to... We can't do it. Does not matter, though. Does not matter. Uh, burn, sirs. Burn all of you. Oh, there's the shotgun. See, like I said, it has the green background with, like, a like a, a splatting bleh kind of... I don't really know how to describe it, but they're, like, inverse colors. It's, like, grenade is, is yellow background with green icon and shotty's the inverse of that however i do want to show you guys the shotgun better because the shotgun is one of my favorites like i'm i'm a, I'm a doom guy at heart i love my shotguns right doom halo all the good stuff if there's a shotgun in the game it's probably gonna be one of the best weapons period and i just messed up what i wanted to do uh, let me activate some orc real quick here and there we go get back here sir uh, get some of this I'll fire some rockets. I've run out of my shotgun ammo. That's a grenade. I don't want the grenade. Was there a shotgun back here somewhere? I'll take missiles instead if that's the case. No, there's nothing else back here. Let me swap out real quick. I want more shot here. I know shotty doesn't have the multi-hit uh, benefits that the flamethrower does, but it's still nice. Nah, sorry Shade. Not your run. Not your time. That guy was like standing in... He's still there. Sir, they're hitting me. Rockets not blowing up point blank. Indeed. Why am I shooting when there's nothing there? Oh, the little halfling girl. Thank you, little halfling girl. You'll be very beneficial to me. Pew pew, dude. You can really see against the big guys that while the uh, the missiles are very cool, they do uh, less noticeably less damage than a lot of other weapons. But that's the whole point. You've got 30 shots. 
they home in, the balance has to be somewhere, and that the compensation is, you know, a little bit less damage. Not the most damaging thing in the world, but still very good utility. Very, very good utility. Um, oh. For something like the pistol, Jagamon Thorn actually makes the pistol kind of nuts, especially in combination with Gunpowder Sword. This is something that I'm actually willing to pick up. Because I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but if we, for example, just, you know, if we if we get rid of all of this, because you're seeing 10 true damage per rocket, right? That doesn't seem like a lot. But for the times where we're looking at having, say, the pistol, it ends up being noticeable damage, like quite noticeable, to the point where you would think, oh, no, I'm stuck with the basic pistol. This sucks. Not so. Now, this isn't necessarily the smartest thing. Yeah, was that a double tactics clone stamp? Wow. It's not the strongest or, or best option, but I am going to do this to show you guys that Jagamon Thorn, with all these other items we've got, can make the pistol quite noticeably strong. And you can see here, we're able to knock out a statue pretty fast. Now, if I, if I pop Orc on top of it, look at that. That's not bad at all, dude. That's quite nice. Damn, that's a lot of damage. For some reason, I wasn't hitting him right there. Knife. There you go. Get double shotty in the face. <laughs> Do it, son. Get double shottied. Boom. Get shottied. Uh, is that a new shotty? I'll take a new shotty, please. Thank you. Dash, dash. Get over that. Come over here. Blast this. Is that the slim? Is that little daddy slime? Hello, daddy slime. No. No. Blast. Blast. Look at that, 1,000 crits with the shotgun. It's such a nice weapon. Now, there's actually honestly a lot here that I would like to get duplicated, but if the explosive arrow got duped, that'd be the one I'm most sad about because I'm, I'm, I know that they probably don't share the same internal cooldown, like they would each trigger individually, the way most other items do, but Cowardly is actually not bad. Cowardly is not bad, and unfortunately, the explosive arrow is the weakest link now because it does have a 0.5 second internal cooldown, the bonus damage is okay, but it's only okay. Uh, this is effectively another 100% with both them put together damage when we're far away. Doesn't gel that well with the shotgun, but that, that's part of the reason why the other weapons are also doing more damage than the shoddy um, when compared directly with each other. But I don't care, dude. I do Ow! Rudeness, son. Sir, so, would you do me a favor and just get attacked? If I, if I were to savagely assault you, would you be mad? What if I knifed you? I knifed that guy and he died. Knife. Did he die from it? No, but he's over there. I can see him on the map. I looked at the little red dot on the mini-map and I'm like, oh, you're over here? Let me just, let me just laser you real quick. <laughs> it does not go full screen. We've tested it. The laser does not go full screen, but it goes pretty far. Uh, rocket, rocket, rocket. Hit him with that rocket power. Uh, oh, thank you for pushing me into my my flamethrower right here. This this is a a stellar weapon for me to get right now. Burn, burn. Look, oh, dude, the flamethrower. The flamethrower is honestly probably, like, the strongest weapon that he has. In terms of, like, practical use, like, it really ramps up and does massive damage. You saw what it did to the sorceress girl. You saw. I know you did. You saw. Oh, here we go. Up to the Joan fight already. I was just thinking, you know, how long has the run been? I feel like I've been in here for not a long time, but a bit of a minute, you know. I feel as though I'm, I'm, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to uh, wrap up the Joan fight. I've gone through all the weapons, I feel. Including the new ones. I haven't seen another rail in a second, though. Maybe I was just getting lucky earlier. I would have liked to rail um, this fight down here. Blow up these two pillars by standing on one side and just shooting all the way through. But beggars can't be choosers, and we will have to deal. Um, oh, it's this attack. I thought it might have been something else. Can I knife you? <laughs> yeah, let's just burn this. Look at that damage! Okay, I've got to slow down for a second. I've, I've actually got to slow down for a second, because that's, that's too much damage too quickly. And I actually need to get another flamethrower lined up. For when... We move to the next phase of the fight. No, 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 don't, don't do that. I'm looking for another flamethrower. I just fell into that damage. I'm an idiot. 
I was trying my best. That's a rocket launcher. Sorry, that's a grenade shot. <laughs> Rockets indeed. Bop. Bop. That's a rail? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hang on. Hold up. I'm gonna try and knife this thing to death. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now, we're gonna pop Orc and we're gonna shoot some long distance rail by standing on one of the far right sides. The flamethrower would undoubtedly be better for this, but... Let's be real here. We wanna... We want to use the new the new gun, right? We can stand down here and shoot straight up at her. Very cool. Half her life gone already. Now, instead of that, though, what if we do this? Ma'am. Knife your little friend. You can see right here, look at the damage. The damage is quite respectable. Like I said... Oh, another rail. Thank you, game. No, don't do that. <laughs> the damage on the pistol, I told you. Quite respectable damage. That was actually a really nice fight. Like, it wasn't the most clean. Double mana tech, pretty cool. But we got two rails. I got to show you the rail against Joan. Um, hopefully, I've gotten a chance to show off the new rail for you enough. The rail uh, definitely specializes in clearing out rooms, because I believe it hits full screen. Like, it, it actually does just go full screen against enemies. So if I pop this real quick. Are they marching towards me? They are. There we go. All dead. All dead. Lots of missiles right here. Which is uh, its benefit. So if you've got one of those nice long... Oh, here we go. Give me this instead. Give me that flamethrower. If you've got a nice long room with lots and lots of little enemies all inside, yeah. The rail's going to clear that room basically immediately. Huh... See, now I'm sad. This this poor little pot of greed is not doing enough for me. But whatever, we'll keep it. Let me just get the food. We're out of money. We're out of money, out of time, and I'm out of patience. Why have I got six stacks of, of metal box? It baffles the brain, confuses the mind. See, if I pop, look, look at, oh, it's so much damage. Even the laser is doing good. I wanted to, actually, I should, can I get a rail? Can I, like, force a rail before we come up here and... And I can, I can trigger as many of the statues and, and hit him with the... Damn it. Fine, instead, we'll do this. <laughs> am I getting them doing this? I feel like I, I am. Well, it's that time. I want to say thank you for being here and being part of the mummy run. Look at that, dude. That's actually pretty cost effective, too. Insane. Uh, for being part of the mummy run, I hope you guys have enjoyed... Checking out his his new three weapons added to his arsenal. I actually think it's pretty cool because they'd be able to add new weapons over time as well and just continue buffing up what the mummy can do. I won't rest until the mummy gains access to a one-use tactical nuke where he just, like, fires a button like like an or an orbital laser. Either a tactical nuke from orbit or an orbital laser cannon where it just hits the entire screen like the meteor and, and does, like, you know... 4,000 damage and wipes everyone out. Look at all these weapon drops. I could take the missiles. Little homing missiles are pretty good. Ah, but the flamethrower, though. It's time to show off what the flamethrower can really do against the hero. Um, hopefully, first phase hero is kind and generous and not entirely mean because I don't want to waste all of this wonderful flamethrower goodness by shooting thin air. Contrary to popular belief, I like to burn heroes, not, not air. There we go. Get that damage, buddy. Look at it. Oh, it's delicious. Burn. Did he pick that up as I swapped? Ah, oh, man. The orc is coming back off cooldown, though. It is the... Oh, it's little homing missiles. Cute. Let's go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Laser time. Get zip-zapped, buddy. Get zip-zapped. No. No, you're an idiot. Oh, my shotty! My cherished shot is gone us. The black cannon. Oh! That big 1000 to the dome. The black cannon go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Die. If I've got orc, I could like, w like take three steps forward, shoot, dash, shoot, and hit him with some big damage. I think you're also able to space it so I can stand just barely in range for the for the bow. Wait for it, wait for it. Hang on, hang on. 
Blap, blap. No, he went behind me. How dare you, sir. Fine, I'll just have to hit you with the respectable pistol damage. It's respectable. It's respectable damage. Only the most respectable. Knife. <laughs> you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You didn't see a knife. You saw nothing. You stay quiet about this. And there you go, the mummy run with his new fancy laser beam, his homing missiles of doom, and the railgun clearing whole rooms in a single electric burst, although I didn't really get to do that. Anyway, the whole point is, the mummy has been buffed, he has more ammo for his weapons, he has more damage on his magical abilities, and overall he's just more consistent. Weapons drop more often, as you could see, when he kills enemies. So the whole weapon run thing just got a whole lot smoother and a whole lot more fun. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the shooty shooty pew pew blasty blasty shenanigans with the Mumster. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one!